Okay, take two. Um, today, I'm going to attempt to teach you how to make one of these little guys. Um, you can do whatever little pattern you want. I'm just going to teach you how to make a super simple, you know, two color one, um, two color bow. Um, and what you need for this is you're going to need your beads. Um, for this particular one, we need 20 of our side beads. Um, I'm using red. And we need seven of our middle beads. I'm using blue. Um, and you need your string. Now, I'm actually using fishing line this time. I just picked some up. Um, but you can use whatever you want. Um, elastic is going to start to sag after a while, so be aware of that. Um, but you can use it if you want to. It doesn't really matter. Um, anyway, what you do is, it's pretty simple. Um, well, yeah, it's pretty simple. You just string two beads on, two of your, you know, outer beads. Then you put one more on both strings, and you just pull that tight. Then you pull your strings apart, and you put one bead on each side. Then you put your strings together, and you put one of your middle beads on. Okay? So it looks a little bit like this. Um, then you pull your strings apart. I'm going kind of fast on this one because I don't want to record for too long. If I'm going too fast, just pause the video and you can rewind it or whatever you need to do. Um, so you take your strings apart, you put a bead on each string, then you put one more of your middle beads on both strings, okay? Then you pull your strings apart, put one of your outer beads, on either side, then put your strings together and put one of your outer beads on both strings. Okay? Now this is your last row and you just take your strings apart and you put a bead on each side. Okay? Now since this is your last row, you're going to tie this off. Okay? Um, just with a couple knots. You don't have to get too fancy with it. Um, just as long as it holds. Okay? And so now we've got this row right here. So we're going to add our two top beads right now. You just take one of your strings, doesn't matter which one, and you put it through that top bead. Okay? Oops. Just that top bead. Then you put on one of your outer beads, you thread it through that next bead. Now this is the part where it gets a little weird. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to thread through these next four beads, um, and we want to come out that red bead there. So just keep going. Oops. Just go right through and come out this red bead here, or you know, your outer bead, the one that's sticking up there. Then you put on one more of your outer beads, put it through the next one that's sticking up, and you have the top of your bow. So we can leave that alone for a while. And you take the string you haven't been using, okay? and you put it through the other bead on the side there. Just like that. And then this time you just go across with your beads. So you have to put in a red bead or you know your outer bead. I haven't really worked with fishing line much, so I'm a little bit clumsy at it. Um, take a blue bead, string that on, Oops. take another blue bead, string that on.
and one of your red beads, one of your, well, your outer beads. I'm just going to go with red and blue because it's easier. Um, just substitute whatever colors you're using. Okay, now we're at the end of this row and we take a bead, one of our outer beads, put it on the string, oops, and go right back through the bead that we just put on. Okay? And you can pull it a little tight if you need to. Um, and just go across. with your beads. Oops. Nice and simple. So we put on that blue bead in the middle, that'll be the last of our blue beads. And you'll notice when you get to the end here that you can't put on your last bead. See, there's nothing there. Um, so what you do is you take the string you haven't been using and you go across all these beads um, however you want to do it. It doesn't really matter which beads you go through, just as long as you come out this bead, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna go across however I feel like doing it. Um, the only bead that matters is that last one. Oops. Okay. Going through the beads. Again, I'm not very handy with the fishing lines, so it's going to be a little bit awkward, but whatever. Go across the beads. Um, oops. And, oops. We want to end up coming out of this bead, okay? Now we take one of the strings, doesn't matter which, put the bead on it, then we take our other string and we go through the same bead the other way so that it makes kind of an X and we just pull it tight. Now we can put on our last two beads and You do the same thing you did when you were making the top part, and that is just go through those next beads. The one thing I don't like about fishing line is that it doesn't tend to like stay very well. The knots stay, um, that's good, but like when you're actually stringing beads on, see how it's getting kind of wobbly? Um, my, like the cloth stuff that I was using, a glorified twine, I guess it was, um, would hold a lot better when I was putting beads on. But that's, I don't know. And once you get up to this bead, you just string on your last bead. And there you go. Now, in order to tie this off, we have to put our strings on the same side. I'm going to use the other string the one I wasn't using because it's a little longer um, and all you do is you just go through the beads um, until you get to the other side nice and simple Nice and simple. Um, and 
you just keep going. Um, sorry, the framing is kind of bad on this because my rig is um, literally a box with a yardstick tape to it and my phone is balanced on the yardstick. So, I'm, I don't know, my framing is kind of weird. Um, and then for this, I want to come out the bead next to the bead that my other string is coming through. And then you just take it and you tie it off with as many knots as you feel are necessary um, to make sure that it doesn't fall apart. I, because I'm using stuff that's a little more slippery, um, I'm going to be tying a lot of knots, but you can probably make do with like three or four. Um, I just get like paranoid that things are going to fall apart, so I really make sure to add tons of knots um, on stuff like this. And then when you're satisfied that it's not going to come apart, you just clip off the ends and there you got your little bow. Um, you can do all sorts of things with these, like pattern wise. Um, here I made a little Captain America or patriotic bow. Um, I also made a bow that has you know, a different colored middle, um, and then I attach that to a very small cuff. Um, I'll be showing you how to make a cuff soon, but yeah, you can see I just tied it to it with fishing line. Um, but yeah, you, these are simple, easy to make, simple and easy. Um, it just requires a little bit of messing around with the string when you're trying to, you know, get it on the right side, but it's fine. Um, hopefully this was informative. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.